Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. <sighs> Hello again. Um, we're here for a get ready with me of some sort. It's been a while since I've sat down in front of the camera. Uh, so let's just play with some makeup. Also, this is totally fake. Just letting you know, the septum is fake. Uh, something I've considered, but this is just one of those clip-in things and, and my nose is instantly itchy, you know. Um, but yes, I am here wearing my coziest half cousin's uh, hoodie. I'm a monster that can't be stopped. Shout out to Lacey. And my favorite Etsy nails. I've only, this is only my first pair of Etsy nails, but these are Pie House nails. You might have seen these on Audra at Home a couple weeks ago. And I'm just gonna put some makeup on my face. And I have my six pan palette that I created inspired by the movie The Witches. So we're gonna be using this little six pan and some new and old makeup. And we're just gonna get ready together. I feel like I'm doing a bit of a throwback with the Born to Glow. I used this pretty intensely for a couple months in a row. And then I I felt like um I felt like it was a little too heavy and cakey. And recently my friend Alex, sincerely Alex makeup on Instagram, asked me about it and I wanted to try it again. And one thing I've definitely realized is that if you put on too much, it will be cakey. But I have like probably less than that, less than half a bottle left, so I kind of just want to actively work on using it up. It's a tricky one sometimes because there's not a pump, so what squeezes out is it's hard to control. Also, this is a new foundation brush that I got from e.l.f. Uh, my older e.l.f. foundation brush literally fell apart. Like, handle peeled apart, bristles were falling out. So, I retired that one and I picked up this that's like an angled brush. It's fine. Okay. I'll do a little pat concealer because it's been a while. So yeah, it's um, been quite a while since I have filmed anything particularly like, I guess, face to the camera. Um, I mean, I do, I still do live streams twice a week with Audra, Tuesdays on Audra's channel, Thursdays on my channel. But there is something different about filming an edited video or filming a video that's going to be edited and um I mean I always like jump between I don't want to be a broken record blah 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 like y'all have heard my my mental health struggles before but also it's a new day it's a new video so it's just been a little bit of a rough so fall heading into winter the SADS, the Seasonal Affective Disorder, hits pretty hard, usually pretty quickly. Um, and then just, I don't know, it's just been, it's just, I talk about this a lot, so I'm gonna try not to harp too much on it in this video, but I just feel like even when I'm like, oh, there's so much to be excited about, my brain is still like, yeah, but there's so much to be sad about too. So, so anyway. Um, oh, my lips are a bit parched. Another thing that I picked up in that e.l.f. order is one of their new lip balms. Because while it was compared to the Glossier Balm.com, which I hated, so I thought, I always push out too much though, so I thought, oh, I don't even want to try it, and then, I don't know. And then I change my tune. There's the problem. Too much. Mm. 
That one is, I think, Tough Cookie. It doesn't inherently remind me of the Cherry Bomb.com from Glossier that I hated. It actually seems pretty nice. So more likely than not, I'm mainly going to be talking about life and stuff, but I might talk about the makeup a little bit as we go. So, yeah, so, you know, as per usual, depression is doing what it does. Seasonal affective disorder is doing what it does. Um, cold, rainy days are doing what they do. Um, at the same time, like, there's there's stuff going on in life that is pretty cool. So one of my main, like I basically have two main freelance uh, jobs. And one of the two, just as soon as the pandemic hit, it just, they were just like, yeah, we have to cut the max hours. I wasn't really hitting those, even those cut max hours, like just slimmed way down. And then in part of my depression struggles kind of over the summer, I also like let myself slide in terms of being as responsive and just being the kind of um, person I want to be, not just employer, but yeah. And then like early September, I think it was early September, had a check in with my manager over there and you know, she's she's awesome um the cuts were not her choosing originally blah 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 corporate you know that shit happens but um she's really good to talk to and i found that i can be fairly open about like when i'm acting a certain way it's not me not wanting to do the job or me not wanting to you know take on more it's mental health it's depression it's all that shit and so in the conversation we had like early in fall wasn't even complete it wasn't like focused around mental health um it was just kind of like in a weird way just like a clean slate just okay so this is where we're at this is the help i need like this is this is what we need to do and also like i understand how you've been feeling and you know, I want to keep the communication open. So that's been really cool. Um, I've been very grateful that the, the two people that I'm mostly working with are, are very kind about these kinds of things. The other like fun part of that is that that, that freelance shop that I was just talking about, um, basically at that time of the conversation, she's like, look, I'm gonna like fight to get you back up to the hours that you were at before. Which, you know, it's still not a full paycheck by any means. It's not paying the rent in full, like. But, also today I'm kind of in the mood to like, I did part, I did my my base and I'm gonna do my eyes and then I'll do like blush and highlight after, after that. So, so yeah, so that was part of the conversation was like, look, I don't know, you know, if I can get you up more than, basically it's 10 hours a week, um, and I had been cut down to five. So like, I don't know if I can get you more than that, but I can at least get you that. And because of scheduling and everything with the pandemic and kind of like fewer people kind of working in office, um, the opportunity to recipe test came up. And if you don't know, like recipe development, recipe testing, I, I enjoy it. I like it. So, so I jumped at the chance, of course, because that's the kind of stuff I want to be doing. Um, so over the last, like, Two, three weeks. Um, I've done recipe testing for four different recipes. And so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. But it's gonna be smoky. So we're just gonna kinda jump in. Um, so yeah, the last couple of weeks I have tested um, a couple of recipes, well, four to be exact and 
that's been really cool because um, while it does take more time than like you think it's going to take because um, I think just doing it at home, like getting up the momentum, like it's not been the easiest, but you know, I'm excited for the opportunities, even if I'm not sounding like super excited. You'll understand my tone, I think. So yeah, that's what's been going on. I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot more recipe testing right away, like just based on the, the pace of um, what I'm working on, but they've also like expanded and they're doing um, other things and so I've been helping with the other things and I actually just had like, is it a byline? I don't know. My my name was on um but I don't know why it's so weird like there's not anything that I know of that I just like can't talk about but I always feel odd about it I work with uh Genius Recipes on Food 52 and they just added a uh, podcast and all this stuff and I I'm helping out like doing stuff with that and uh, including trans transcribing like they it's basically just taking a computer transcription and making it make sense and formatted and all that and so the kind of article post on their site for the transcription uh, the pot like is is under my name it's not like under the uh, higher up that I'm working with or well I'm working with two people so I, I wasn't expecting that at all and it was just a cool feeling and like I don't know I just I was like oh okay and so this was the company that I originally thought I was gonna have an opportunity for full-time work in the months before the pandemic hit um and so it's been really sad that like that changed and all of this and i've been really bummed about it because it's a like they have their they have their shit but it is a company i would be i think excited to work for well and the people the person i work with she's pretty fucking cool so so yeah that's been the like the last couple of weeks and while i am excited for that and for more opportunities um and i'm definitely not working like 40 hours between my two two main freelance gigs i just i rarely work with black and i'm a little afraid of it But I want to do something, so I'm grabbing um, a number 14 brush from Refer. I've been using the number 13, but I think I want something with a little bit more fluff because the 13 is great for small eyes, but I don't know. I, I, it's like a little more fluff and black seems scary, but at the same time, it's kind of what I want. So, um... So yeah, it's, I think the idea of like the 40 hour work week is totally trash anyway. So I'm not sitting here being like, oh, if you don't, if you don't work a 40 hour work week, like you are trash or something. But I think I'm still just kind of beating myself up over like, I mean, I used to work back when I worked at the bakery a 50 hour work week was the bare minimum which fucking sucked but uh so now working from home i'm like why can't i like get my shit together and do <laughs> and do more and i mean 
I say that, but I also understand why I can't. But yeah, so that's kind of the like the personal life update. Ooh, I like how that diffused out. Okay, okay, black. This is the Menagerie Black from Pastel Pup that I ended up repainting into a circle pan because my magnet like brought out all the pigment. Uh, that's what happens with black sometimes because iron oxide is magnetic. Um, but yeah, uh, I like this a lot actually. Me and smoky eyes are, are not the norm, but this also makes me want to pull out the Cosmic Oasis uh, palette from Drench because it has a really nice uh, blendable black in there. So anyway, I'm over here like excited about things, still struggling to juggle everything. Like my insomnia is just, it keeps playing me. Like, yeah, it just, it keeps doing that. So that's not pleasant, but um, yeah, so I'm sitting over here like excited about the future, excited about right now, but also like wanting to still do more and I'm blowing this out a little bit more if that wasn't incredibly obvious. And just kind of struggling with what I'm expecting of myself. And, you know, even with YouTube stuff, like the pressure I put on myself is, is put on by myself. It's not. So yes, I feel very fortunate to not have subscribers like that, that are, you know, like, very demanding and obnoxious with their demands but I'm also the kind of person that like when I can focus on it I really enjoy YouTube and uh, I would like to be more consistent and you know keep growing and I know I'm sitting here being like I don't need to put a lot of pressure on myself. I'm still managing things. And now I'm here about to say to you, yeah, but also um, I'm gonna do Vlogmas. Yeah. So here's the thing. I am curious. So I feel like Vlogmas is going to be a bit of a test I want to use it as a test for smaller creators because I know larger creators say like the the investment is worth it it is very lucrative as uh, Abby Williamson recently said on fresh faced um, live stream with on Audra's channel that it is very lucrative and I am just so, so curious to see if that is the case for smaller channels. Like the, for me right now, under 5k, um, I'm creeping up on 3k. I would love to hit 3000 by, by November 23rd, which is my birthday. Just, just, just putting it out there. Um, but yeah, I'm just really curious to see if in terms of AdSense and growth and all of that, if it's actually worth it, because I'm very skeptical. I put so much shimmer down here. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> the amount of red giant I just put on my brush. That, I mean, it looks fucking cool. But that wasn't actually the plan. That's okay. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more black. I picked up a bunch of the Lethal Gel Pot Liners. 
So we're going to use the black. I'm going to put it in the waterline and then kind of smudge it on the lower lash line a bit too. Okay, so I completed both eyes. Um, my battery ran out right as I was finishing this eye, so I decided to just do the mascara and such off camera. And then we did the other eye. Uh, to quickly run through again, we have the gray from Colored Rain on the inner part of the eye. We have a, the pinky purple tone is also from Colored Rain, I believe from the Power Palette. We have some black in the outer V and a little bit on the lower lash line from Menagerie. We have Skyla from Davina across the lid. We have Gumbles, which is a sugar drop from Davina on the inner corner. We have Red Giant along the lower lash line. A little black gel liner from Lethal in the waterline and smudged out and mascara. And I'm now going to reapply concealer because I had quite a bit of fallout from Skyla and probably from some of the black and the, and the pink. So we're just going to pretend like I didn't already do that part of my face. Um, and we'll continue to talk about the things I was talking about. So I think where I left off was... So I think where I left off was kind of just talking about getting more responsibilities with 252, which is exciting, but also a little scary because it just means honestly like less free time, less free time. Um, and kind of, and kind of managing having more like freelance work which means less time for YouTube but at the same time um I'm trying to do vlogmas this year oh yeah that's where I was at uh, that's where I was at so here's the thing part of me part of me in my head feels like I don't trust that Vlogmas is actually lu that lucrative for smaller channels and that it's really something for the 15 to 30k and up channels which are still small comparatively for YouTube but but compared to me I'm like a um, teeny tiny micro creator so so i have a little bit of fear of like putting in all this work for nothing now it's not going to be for nothing meaning like it's videos that i'm excited about i'm collaborating with some people i'm excited about that some, some people that y'all might expect and then some people that y'all might not expect. Mm, okay, I won't, I won't. I don't want to give anything away. But I am excited. But I'm also, you know, nervous because I don't, I don't know what life is going to be like in two months, in a month and a half. Um... I know I've mentioned it before, but like just all of the unknown about the election and and all of that like is very scary in and of itself. Um, so yeah. So I'm just not really sure, like, what to do. Well, it's not that I'm not sure what to do. It's that, you know, I want to do this thing. But I'm also trying to keep kindness at the forefront and not just 
like overwhelming myself really early on with the idea of vlogmas um also if y'all have any name ideas i'm listening i'm trying to do mostly edited videos but there will be some live streams thrown in i'll be considering the thursday live streams with audra on my channel as part of vlogmas and then I think I'll be doing like Sunday streams as just like a chill um, break in between all of the other videos. But the rest, theoretically, theoretically, will be filmed and edited videos. So, Also, I think I want warm honey for my blush. I'm not really sure, but um, I'm kind of feeling like a slightly more neutral blush with everything going on in the eye. And warm honey is beautiful. So yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here being like, I don't want to overwhelm myself and, and I want to take it slow. But I'm also saying I want to do vlogmas because... I mean, I don't know, I just, I just want to do it. Uh, well, I mean, I explained it to y'all. I, I, it's a, it's a test. It's a test to see if, you know, the, everything that I've heard, it, it's a test to see if that's true. Because it's not just one person that I've heard that like, oh, it's lucrative from. Like, it's generally something that's said as a creator that like it is a lucrative time of year and considering the low amount of adsense um meaning like adsense just the rates are really low i would love to be able to bump that up a little bit and last year when i accidentally did vlogmas meaning like i uploaded I feel like when I look back at it, I uploaded like 25 or 26 days out of 31 days. Like I didn't do it all in one, all in a row, but I wasn't monetized. So, uh, so this year is, is, is a little bit different. Okay. So, mm, I like just that neutral blush. I didn't think I would ever like a neutral blush, but I do. What do we want to do for lips? I don't know why I even asked. Of course I'm going to do black. I mean, what's a witchy look without some black lipstick? Which I can never not bring like way above my lip line. So I hope you're enjoying that. So yeah, that's the finished look. So this is the finished look featuring the six pan eyeshadow palette inspired by the witches um highlighter by dior blush by cover fx lipstick by house of uni face by nyx and pat mcgrath brows by covergirl and all those indie eyeshadows that i told you about earlier so yeah let me know what you thought about this look um let me know what you think about the idea of me uploading 25 videos in december or maybe more uh if you have any name ideas any just throw them out there put them in the comments i would love to hear your recommendations because they're not really vlogs so it doesn't really make sense to call it vlogmas you know you know also I meant to talk about this while I was actually putting makeup on. I also feel a little weird about doing, like, vlogmas when I don't really care about the holidays. 
So I hope y'all are here for not holiday content. And if you have any not holiday content that you would love to see from me, you can also leave those comments, those recommendations in the comments. I would greatly appreciate them as well. So let me know, did you enjoy seeing this look come together? Are you enjoying the witchy vibes? Are you feeling it? You like the nails, like the lipstick, like the eyes? I don't know. Um, um, I'm enjoying it. I am. Uh, especially with my comfy, cozy, but, but Halloween-ish hoodie. Totally my vibe. Nails, rings, makeup, hoodie, sweatpants. That is me to a T. So thank y'all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed listening to my ramblings and you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Like the video if you liked it. Share it with your friends if you wanna uh, share some witchy looks with them. And I hope you are all taking care of yourself. Please stay safe out there. Um, make sure you have a voting plan in place. Oh, three weeks, three weeks away. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again real soon. Thank you again for spending a bit of your day with me. Bye friends.